what is one model that you live by? Um, I, I think, you know, I kind of put my life into my job. So it has to be about my job. And my job is about kids and about um, not turning around a kid, but, but actually trying to help elevate a kid. You know, I think the most important thing I've learned over the, the years of being my, my dad's son and, and being a coach is it's so much more important to coach the player than it is to coach the play. And I think that goes in everything in life. The task is, is the ultimate goal, but to get the task done, the person doing the task is the most important thing. So if you're a teacher, you're teaching the student. You're not teaching the concept. If you're a coach, you're, keep, you're, you're coaching the player. You're not coaching the play. So I kind of think people will get things done a lot, but more than, you know, the person that gets the job done is more important than the job done itself. So if you, if you emphasize the person doing the job, a lot of the times you're going to get the job done and not realize that you've even made that the number one task. So my model, obviously, is making sure that, that your, your attention is spent on the person doing and not the job that's being done. Coach, I want to thank you so much for this interview. Um, and I wish you the best in the future uh, to your team, to your success, and hopefully we can see you again. Oh, I look forward to it, Carl. And you being a former player and a current friend and someone that I love so much, uh, I, if I have continue to have players like you and families like your family, I can't lose here at Morton High School. Thank you, Coach. This is Athlete Lives Network. Once an athlete, always an athlete.